everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Ray with Crafted by Ray. Today I'll be doing an unboxing of this new Algo Laser DIY Kit MK2. It is a 10 watt laser, it has a screen so we can try some new functions out. Now, I'm going to show you some of the things that I sell in craft shows to help make some extra cash using Algo Lasers. So, let's unbox this and let's begin. Okay, we're going to start unboxing. First thing is right on top they supply you with some sample pieces some acrylic some metal aluminum cards some zip ties and these little brushes are very nice for getting soot and things out when you're laser engraving And then this is just black acrylic and a piece of plywood. And in here should be the instruction manual. They always have really good instructions. Everything's in color, easy to put together. Ooh, I love opening up a new machine. Oh, that is nice. It's already got the uh, nozzle on for the air assist. Perfect. And it's got the magnetic catches so you can clean it up and then pop it right back on. That's awesome. New pair of safety glasses. Rails. Oh, look how cool that is. I can't wait to give this a try. And that's everything. As you can see, it was all neatly packaged, so nothing should be damaged. I mean, look at that. It's really good foam. All right, now I'm just going to speed through putting this together really quick. It's not much to it, so let's begin. Okay, as you can see, I'm putting this machine together right now, and I wanted to go over a few things that I am, I really like about Elgo Laser. They're a great company. I mean, they reached out to me about a year ago, to do a video for them. I'll have a link of that video in the description below, but it was one of their first DIY kits. Now this next DIY kit that I'm putting together right now hasn't even been released yet. Um, they reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in doing another video. Um, I just want to say that with this company and how easy it is to use their software and learn how to make stuff, I started doing craft shows last fall and this next craft show I do in three weeks will be one year of craft shows. And I can't, um, I can't stress enough to say how much the extra income has helped my family just from this machine. Now this one, once we get into it, after I get it all put together, we'll talk more about it. But there's a lot more cool things with the d uh, display unit and... Being able to run a program off your phone, um, so I can send a file off my phone, I can do text, so if I wanted to take this to craft shows, I could personalize things on my phone, not needing a laptop, and sending it right to the machine through Wi-Fi, and then I could just run everything off my phone. But a lot of the things I like to make for craft shows, which I'll show here in a minute, are just you know I started small I started with earrings and that seems to be one of the biggest things I sell still um, other things I've been making are just like things for movies characters uh, games um, ornaments for Christmas coming up and a buddy of mine saw this video and we met at a craft show last year and he had a business of making games for instance I helped him walk through his first project which one of them was a board that had a bunch of spots for counting um, numbers placements and instead of um, going and measuring out all the holes and taking it the drill press I had made a program for the laser that he could drop a part in there run it all out and it would mark all the holes so that he could take it the drill press and drill them but it also had all the rules to the games on it so things like that make it a lot easier for us to um, speed up a process. 
instead of marking out different boards. If you got a different size board, you can just type in machine and it can place all the holes for you. I, we use um, Lightburn, which is a very popular software, but you don't have to use Lightburn. They have their own software that you can use or even the app on the phone, which I just started looking into and it looks pretty promising. Okay, so some of the items I like to make or something colorful that you know can pull in a crowd for instance I've been making a lot of these Mario flowers I mean they're not too much to them I buy a whole sheet of this plywood at Home Depot for 20 bucks and I can get 32 flowers out of that now it does take I don't know, a good 10 minutes to make cut it out maybe 15 minutes depending on um, what your feeds and speeds are now if you have any questions with any of the power settings or anything like that you can always ask me in the comments below and I, I would be glad to help you out. Now this one right here, I'm selling, uh, I think it's $10 a piece. And it takes me a few minutes, I paint them all up, uh, I lay everything out, I batch them out 10 at a time, and then I just super glue the pieces together. I leave this one flat so I, I can put it in a bag and it's easier for the customer to carry. But as you can see, I can just slide this together. Now to get something like this, you can go for Etsy to find a file. This one's pretty simple. You, you can just draw s circles and get everything placed out. Now, you can go on Etsy and buy files for stuff like that. In fact, I've done that multiple times. Um, for instance, I bought this file for this cutout of this tic-tac-toe game. Now, I went through and painted all the pieces. And the pieces that I chose to do for this tic-tac-toe game are little pine trees, or yeah, pine trees and Bigfoots, because for some reason the Bigfoot culture is growing in my area, and it seems to be a big thing. So it looks like that. Now this was um, the same sheet of plywood, but I get two out of one 12 by 12 inch square, so I can do two games for the $20 sheet of plywood, and I get 32 pieces out of that because of. 12 by 12 and then there's like a little bit one that's a little shorter but you could still get two games out of that and all I did with that was I painted them all the big puts brown and all the trees green I didn't do anything to these I just lack put spray lacquer on them so that they're not like chipping out afterwards but and then I just super glued them together and that's that game now another game that I make are like these um I think they're called crazy golf. You get the pegs and you jump them over. I have then rules in here. Now I cut this out on the bandsaw, cleaned up the edges, and then um, put it in the laser to get this. And then I put my, I burnt my logo in the back with all my information. Okay, one of the other options, this is completely new. I haven't even tried to sell these yet, so I have no idea how they're gonna do. But I took um, MDF and I cut out shapes and put them on a wooden sign because Halloween's coming around and coffee is my favorite drink. So I made some coffee signs for Halloween. One thing I like to do is do theme type um, craft shows for seasonal like um, Halloween, uh, fall. I'm gonna do a lot more fall stuff for this next craft show. And then I also, Christmas coming around, this is one of my favorite projects to make with the laser. These ornaments, I sell these for about $10 a piece. It takes like a, I would say a good 12 inch square. I was getting four of these and it would take, I don't know, an hour to make four. And I'm not painting them. I'm not staining them or clear coating. I just super glued the two ends together. I found this file on Etsy. I think that I paid $5 for the file and I've made a lot and sold a lot of these ornaments. Another big thing I like to make are signs from older movies. Like this is the map of Middle Earth. Okay, so like I said, one of my biggest sellers was earrings, like wooden earrings. For instance, this is one of my biggest sellers. I go through there, cut it, and then I set the settings for the lines to, um, to just do lines. And I bought this file off Etsy and my wife hand paints them for me and they came out looking amazing that's one of my biggest sellers those ghosts oh we sell a lot of like 
Mario themed like little turtle shells. And this is our fall series that we go for. More of like a, with the Halloween, we do some fall ones. And I've sold quite a few last year of these. I'll see how these do on the next craft show. And if you're shopping on Etsy, you can find cool files like this where people have put the time to um, add all this. Now, if you buy this file once and you can take the panel size, delete the image on the inside and just add whatever you want in there. This one's a bunch of leaves. And then you can turn on these. I bought a whole box of these. I'll have in the description below for if you're gonna make any candle displays. But they sit right in here and they flicker and they end up turning out pretty cool. I know the lighting in here is too bright, but um, yeah, you can see the little flicker. I also made a bunch of little keychains. There ain't much to these. And all the links I'll have in the description are affiliate links, so that'll help me out too if you guys click on those. But yeah, I'll have the keychains, some plywood, the super glue I use to glue a lot of the stuff, and some other items I'll mention throughout the video. Bigfoot magnets. So all I did was I found this file online um, at Etsy and it's two layers so you don't cut through something really thick. So you cut through the first layer, take that one piece out, I painted it really quick and then the other side I didn't do anything to it. And then I sprayed the whole thing with clear coat and then added a magnet on the back. I just wanted to say thanks for watching as we're finishing and putting up this machine together. Um, if you could like, share, and subscribe to the video, if you have not yet already, I appreciate that. Thank you. And I'll have affiliate link for the machine and some of the components and a lot of the other stuff I'm going to be using to make stuff for these craft shows in the description below. Um, helping out my sponsors or supporting my sponsors is supporting me. And thank you, Algo Laser, for allowing me to make this video. Okay, one more thing I forgot to mention is I was going to try to run both laser machines, my other Algo Laser and the one they just sent me, at the same time to catch up on some craft show stuff. Well, unfortunately, my laptop doesn't have enough USBs for two lasers and the mouse. So a friend of mine let me borrow one of these. It's a splicer to do one port to three USBs. I'll have a link of this in the description because it was very helpful. Okay, I was just messing around with the machine a little bit. I got it all hooked up. As you can see, it's all put together. I did end up buying a extra air compressor through Algo Laser. I'll have a link in the description below, um, an affiliate link through Amazon, and another honeycomb. I don't have it down here yet, but I'll bring it in here. That's for when you're cutting through materials that you don't end up scoring your bench top because it usually has a metal plate underneath it to stop that. And I was messing with the interface, which this is really sweet. Let me bring you in and show you some of the functions. You can see I can go to controls, air pump. You can turn the air pump up or turn it right off. And the screen is very active. It's like I hit the button and it just it moves fast, and that's nice. As you can tell, I can move the machine. You can choose how far you want to move it. This is your speeds, and then you can go back. You get your air pump, and then projects. It has a 7 gigabyte SD card, so it has onboard storage on the controller, which is awesome. And it has projects already saved in here. It's got all these projects that you can choose from that are already saved inside on the machine. And then you're going to touch a USB, so you do not even need a laptop for this. Okay, I'm just getting set up right now to do some uh, pumpkin earrings. I can see right there. I bought some of these thin pieces of plywood that I use for earrings. I'll have a fill it link in the description below with all the pieces I use for making earrings if you're interested. But I'm going to try to get six out of these little squares. I'm going to line it up and focus it and we'll check it out on the laser. All right, that looks good. Now I just gotta focus the laser. Oh.
Okay, as you can see, they cut out perfectly. It only took about 11 minutes to make six of these. Now, if you take the cost of the plywood, which is pretty cheap, I think I bought a pack of that. I can't remember, but it'll be in a link description below. It's pretty affordable. So one piece is like six of these. So one set per piece. So what are you thinking? Somewhere around like three, three and a half minutes per a set of earrings that are this size. And the smaller ones, of course, are a little faster. Now, I'm probably going to stain these orange because of the Halloween and maybe paint the tips brown um, and go from there and make some earrings. Okay, thanks for watching my video. And I just want to say thanks to Algo Laser for sponsoring this video. And if you wouldn't mind sharing the video, giving a like, and subscribing. And I hope to see you guys next time with another Crafted by Ray video.